things which remain. Refuge Healing Church presents Watch God. Join us for the next 30 minutes as we study the Word of God. So be blessed and encouraged. And now, Inez Walker. Welcome to Watch God. We're so very glad that you tuned in today to the, to the Most High God, the God of the now, the God that you can look to no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's your condition, no matter what your situation is, nobody, no matter what nobody said that you couldn't be, God is the author and the finisher of your faith. Welcome to Watch God. God wants you to know today that he loves you and he wants you to be a part of his team. He wants you to know that no matter what it looks like, he's still able to deliver you and make you whole. Well, the Refuge Healing Church would like to invite you to our service times. They are each Wednesday from 6 to 8 is our Hunger and Needy program. And each Friday is Victory Friday at 7 until. Wednesday, 7 until. On a Saturday from 7 to, from 7 to 8, we have prayer in the a.m. On Saturday evening, we have prayer from 6 to 7, knowing that we need prayer like never before. In Jesus' name. And God just want us, like never before, to petition him to look beyond all of our faults and see our needs. Because we need him like never before. We want you to know today that you can meet us on a Sunday morning at 11.45 and a Sunday evening at 7.00. And on the first Sunday, we have church at 8 o'clock, which is our healing service. And the old services is at 8, and in the evening, they're at 6. Come by and receive a healing from the Lord. You have to come with expectation so that God can move on your behalf. you got to trust in Him. you got to believe in Him and know that He's going to bring you out in Jesus' name. Now, the word of the Lord wants us to know that you can, can, can call us at 387-6361 or 325-7975 and we'll pray with you. Our desire is for you to have all access to God. And you can do that by calling. You can do that by coming to church on Wednesday at 7, coming to church on Friday at 7, coming in prayer from 7 to 8 on Saturday and Saturday evening from 6 to 7 on a Sunday morning. You can come at 11.45 and 7 o'clock in the evening ex except for first Sunday, which is healing. The healing service is at 8 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the evening. We also would like to invite you to uh, uh, fifth Sunday where we have our men's pro program. Come by and be with us and help us celebrate men. God is blessing the men. He's blessing men with wives. He's blessing women with husbands. Come by and celebrate with us. I want you to know that we love you. We're so very glad that you tuned in today to watch God. Again, the, healing, the address of the church is 506 South 6th Street, Monroe, Louisiana. If you want us to help, help you with transportation, call 387-6361 or 325-7975. We're the Refuge Healing Church. We love you. We're so very glad that you tuned in today. We're excited about what Christ is getting ready to do. The miracle has been performed. And we'll tell you more about it in our next television broadcast. Be encouraged. Stay strong. And know that the miracles of God is in the atmosphere. Claim your miracle and know that God will absolutely bring you out. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Let us pray. God, we come before you right now. 
casting all of our cares upon you because we already know you care for us. We thank you for healing us, delivering us from the inside out, blessing us, and keeping us with the mind stayed on thee. We thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We ask you to save your people, sanctify them. Bless our family, save them, God, sanctify them. In the name of Jesus, and fill them with your spirit, I pray. We thank you, Lord God, for ordering our steps, God. Not going where we want to go, but where you want us to go. Not taking on things of our own, but taking on the things of God, listening to your voice, letting you tell us what we need to do and where we need to go. How we thank you for it being done right now. Every, every, every refuge member that's in the earth, God, we cause them to the fourth. We ask the new God to cause them to come back home in Jesus' name. Don't let it be too late. Let them make up their mind and let them come back as soldiers marching into Calvary. How we thank you for it being done right now. How we thank you for laying aside, God, those things in their life that's not pleasing in your sight. We ask you, Lord God, that you would justify them and not the world. Giving them what they need, giving them what they've been praying for. Helping their attitudes, helping their, their, their mind, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious and holy name, I do pray. I want you to know I appreciate you, God, for being God all by yourself. How we thank you for the word of God in Jesus' name. Have your way in Jesus' name. Thank you for it being done right now. The word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. God, we bless you today. You're, we're coming with your word today and saying, stay clean. God, see every one of us. You see us in, in whatever we're doing. Let everything be done for the glory of God. Don't let us be in our own self doing what we want to do, God. But let us do what you want us to do. How we thank you for it being done right now. We don't want to be a sinner, God. We want to love you. We don't want to be in our sinful habits in Jesus' name. We want you to, to let us love you and obey your word like never before. Stay clean as our message today. God sees you. Come now to the book of Romans, the fifth chapter, starting at the fifth verse. And the Bible reads these precious words. And hope make it not a shame. Let's start at the, um, at the third verse. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations work at patience. Patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope make it not a shame. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which he has given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the, for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man Will one die, yet pre-adventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commend his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, if, if when, we were in, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And now only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, we're at the 12th verse. Wherefore. As we one man sin entered into the world, 
and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. God sent his only begotten son for us. Not only so, but we also glory in God's suffering because we know the suffering produces preservance and preservance character and character hope. Making us be the sons and daughters that God so that we will not and hope does not put us to shame because God love has poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who have been given to us. You see, at just the right time when we were when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Thank you, Jesus. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrated his own love to us in this while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us all. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved by God's wrath through him? For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son. How much more having been reconciled shall we, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. May the Lord bless us real good. Let's go to Romans 6 and 23. Before we go there, let's go to Romans 6 and 12. It says, let not sin therefore range in your mortal body, that ye should obey in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as though that are alive from the, from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not to whom ye yield yourselves servant to obey. His servants ye are to whom you are the servants to whom you obey, ye obey whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thankful that ye are the servants. Be thankful that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart the form of doctrine which was delivered unto you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of of righteousness. Thank the Lord for Jesus. The 23rd verse says, But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have, ye have yours fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let me read that 22nd verse again. It said, But now being made free from sin and become servants of God, ye have your fruits unto holiness and the end, ever, and the end everlasting life. We thank God for giving us everlasting life. We no more uh, have to be a slave to sin. But God have, have set us free from sin and, and, and we have become godly. And we reap the benefits that leads to holiness. And the results is eternal life. 
And we know that God himself was an example. Every day becoming with uh, uh, human limitations, just as you used to offer yourself to impurities and ever increasing wickedness, wickedness, so now offer yourselves as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness. We thank God that God has given us control in righteousness. Stay clean. Let us consider the word of God. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Let us consider how we carry ourselves with one another. Let us love one another in good deeds and day of the Lord is coming and soon is approaching. No more deliberately sinning. Stay clean. Because after you receive knowledge of the truth, there is no more sacrifice for sin is left. Living holy demands much sacrifice because it is not your will. It becomes the will of God. When you lay your old life down, repent and God will remember. And God will remember your sin and lust for actions no more. Hope will not make you ashamed. Neither will it disappoint you because of your love that you have poured your hearts out to God through the Holy Spirit. Overflowing our hearts with holy living, keeping God's commandments. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. You must understand that, that God is is doing all the things that we need for him to do. Laying aside all of our weights and our sins that so easily beset us. Let me read Hebrews, the 10th chapter, just for your hearing. Just for your hearing. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, starting at the 24th verse. It says, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as ye see the, approach, the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. That's what I was telling you. No more sacrifice for that sin. If we keep on uh, uh, committing sin, there will be no more sacrifice for sin. See, when you don't love God, you will not help others to serve him. You've got to love God. Your sinful habits, don't hurt those. Your sinful, hab your sinful hab habits do hurt those that follow you. You can't fight flesh. You cannot fight fleshly temptations with fleshly weapons. Except when you are wrong concerning your actions. And God will remove the guilt. It is time now for us to ask God to forgive us for our sins. We, 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 we need to to repent after we have done God wrong so that we can receive the promises of God so that we won't go back on God but we'll move forward in God doing everything that God would have us to do. Nugget number one says chase after salvation. Nugget number two says stay before God in spirit and in truth. Nugget number three says, treat God like he treats you. Nugget number four says, holiness is right. Let us fear God. Let us fear God and have no desire to want to go to hell. Nugget number five, you must want to be free in order to stay free from sin. Because you already know sin will keep you longer than you want to stay. Nugget number six. 
have a pure heart and, and, and don't be a liar to God. Look at number seven. Clean up your life. Not trying to clean it up, but clean up your life. Look at number eight. You need power to be an overcomer of sin. How do I get power? Get filled with the Holy Ghost. You need power to be an overcomer of sin. You can't do it on your own. You're going to need God. That's Holy Ghost power. Look at number nine. Save in church and out of church, letting the devil use you. Remember, God's eyes in it is in every place, beholding the good and the evil. It's time for us to have holy fear. Fear God. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. Look at number 10. Don't make a vow to God about being saved and still choosing to go to your ungodly ways. Look at number 11. Spiritual death is separation from God. Unable to trust God. You are powerless without God. Look at number 12. The wages of sin is death. The consequences of it is evil doing. The only way to escape death is come to Jesus through faith, drawn by the Holy Spirit. Faith in Christ leads to spiritual and to eternal life. Somebody say, bless God. Thank you, Lord God. We want to be children of Jesus Christ. We want to do what God wants us to do. We want to be obedient. We don't want to touch nothing, taste nothing, and handle nothing that will keep us out of the will of God. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. God don't want us weak. He want us strong. He want us holding on to him like never before in these last and evil days. See, God is telling us this. Wherefore, my beloved, Philippians 2 and 12, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Do all things, not some things. Do all things without murmuring and disputing. That ye may be blameless and harmless. The Son of God. Rebukes in the midst of a crooked and a perverse nation. Among whom ye shine as light in the world. We thank God for keeping us. Let your light shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. We want to we lay not up for your treasures up on the earth. Where moths and rust do corrupt. But wherefore we want to lay out treasures where they don't steal at. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moths or rust do corrupt. And where, where thieves do not break through to steal. We thank God for working everything out for us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord God for working it out for us. In the name of Jesus. Let your light shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. It's time for us to, to, to lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily beset us and walk upright before God, knowing that God is a peacemaker. He's a protector. He rules the heavens. He want us to get our life together so that we will become the children of God. So that we will be able to be a part of the kingdom of God. So that we can be also an example and a light to people on the earth. God is saying stay clean. It is time for us to stay clean. God wants 
us to uh, know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The word of God is true. God stands behind everything that he says. God wants you to know that you can be first and not last, the head and not the tail. Keep your mouth and God will keep your soul. Somebody said, thank you all. Always be willing to serve and do whatever you can to please God. Somebody said, thank you, Lord. We thank God for He'll always keep us. All you got to do is want to be kept. We want to be in agreement with God, doing God's perfect will, not our will, but his will. We, wanna, we want God to know that we accept everything that he says concerning, concerning his word. God wants us to, to put all of our trust in him and put all the things that we used to do, put it behind us, and he'll put it in the sea of forgiveness. We thank God for saving us, healing us, delivering us in these last and evil days, giving us freedom from the world. God wants to change our life. We want God, whatever God is doing, we want to we wanna be behind him 100%. We want to do God's will. We want to work like he want us to work. We want us to know that God is a, is a preserver. And he's, and he's a righteous God. And he want us to have a relationship with him. We want to be able to call upon him. And he will show us great and mighty things that we know not of. We need to thank God. But he gave us an opportunity to be born again. Somebody say, bless the Lord. God is saying, stay clean. Keep yourself covered in the blood. Chase after God. Chase after what he has deposited into your life. Hold on like never before. Stay encouraged. Look to Jesus. He'll fix everything that's, that needs to be fixed in your life. I want you to know today that we love you. We're so very glad that you tuned today in to watch God. Always come and be blessed through the word of God. Keep letting your light shine so somebody can see Christ in your life. And do away with their ways and take on the ways of Jesus. I want you to know that we love you. And we're so very glad that you tuned in today to watch God. Thank you for tuning in today's program. If you would like more information or need prayer, call 318-387-6361. We invite you to join us in one of our services as listed on screen. Our church is located at 506 South 6th Street, Monroe. Thank you for watching Watch God with Inez Walker.